The Little Acorn. Once upon a time, there was an old forest. It was between two neighborhoods, tucked in as tight as a toddler. The ground was flowering bushes and mossy dirt, paved in places with the hard packed highways of frequent feet. Trees towered above, none taller than the ancient beauty they called Mother Oak. No one knew who gave her that name, but it fit. She was so big, her reaching limbs held all the forest, just like a mother hugging her children. Mother Oak watched happily as life happened around her. Birds made nests in her upper limbs, and squirrels chittered, leaping deftly from branch to branch. Below, human kids ran back and forth, playing tag. Old friends walked and talked, sometimes with wiggling dogs in tow. It was a busy but strangely peaceful place, a place where life happened, messy, green, and chirping. And one day, it seemed to Mother Oak that the air suddenly stretched and yawned and changed overnight. People laid down their heads to the scents of cut grass and charcoal and the tropical bouquet of coconut sunscreen. Warm smells, summer smells. They awoke to drying hay and pumpkin spice and the earthy perfume of fallen leaves and gentle decay. Fall had arrived. The forest, yesterday a secret sea of green waves and white cap birch, too was changed. Like a father's temples dusted silver by time, the forest was brushed with streaks of gold and orange, and within, pockets blushing red as any rose. Mother Oak woke with the sun. She tasted the change in the air and admired a swath of bronze leaves down her middle. Oh, gorgeous, just wonderful, she said to herself. She was nearly shaking with excitement. Fall was her favorite season, and there was one big reason why the acorns. Her branches were heavy with them, each one a son or daughter. They were growing fast, but still just little things, and Hazel was the littlest of them all. The world seemed big and wild and scary to the tiny acorn. Maybe it was because she was so small, or maybe it was just her nature, but Hazel was just plain afraid of almost everything. When the wind blew through her mother's branches, her brothers and sisters would swing and laugh and cheer. Hazel would shriek like a whistle and cuddle up tight to her branch. The same would happen when humans clomped by in their big heavy boots. And worst of all were the squirrels. The fuzzy menaces would climb and cling and chitter all over. Hazel even heard that sometimes they would take little acorns like her and bury them deep in the dark of the earth. When the squirrels came, she backed deep into her shell and pulled down her acorn cap and trembled with fear. So, when her mother announced that it was time to fall, her brothers and sisters all cheered. But Hazel, Hazel held on tighter than ever. Come on now, kids, Mother Oak said. You're big enough now to leave home. Your shells are thick and there's a whole world to see. Who's first? It's time to fall. What happens after we fall? One of the boys asked. You'll make your way, she said. The world is wide and wild, but you'll find a place to put down roots and you'll do just fine. Go, go and find yourselves a place to grow. Of course, several of the kids, being, you know, kids, had gotten bored halfway through her answer and decided to fall already. With happy shouts and long wahoos, they dropped from their mother's arms and pitter pattered to the earth. Some of Hazel's other brothers and sisters followed close behind, racing their siblings to the ground. She watched them go, fear and wonder mixing in her belly like a sour stew. She felt greasy and sick, but she couldn't look away. All her brothers and sisters now scattered on the forest floor below. Be careful down there, she hollered, but she didn't think they could hear. Besides, they wouldn't listen anyway. 
That night, Hazel watched in horror as her brothers and sisters were scattered by the wind or kicked carelessly from boot to boot or taken by squirrels or just simply rolled away. I won't let that happen to me, she whispered into her mother's arms. I'll never fall, not ever. The next morning, Mother Oak rustled her branches and said, Okay, kids, it's time for the rest of you to go. Fall and find your fortunes. The rest of the acorns started to fall. These were the more timid kids, and they had waited a little longer, cried a little harder, and held on a little tighter. In the end, though, they too, like a gentle rain, all fell to the ground. All except Hazel. When they fell, she clutched her mother like a drowning girl on a life ring. She wailed and cried and clung on all night long. When she slept, she dreamed of falling. And when she woke up, she was even more convinced that she should stay right where she was. Mom says it's safe, and I shouldn't wait. The others aren't scared of what's waiting down there. They just drop into the air. But I don't want to go. No. I don't want to go. I don't want to perfect home dive into the unknown i'm safe right where i am i don't see why i can't plan to stay and live my life this way i'll stay hazel Mother Oak said. Child, why haven't you gone yet? I'm just, I'm waiting for the right time. Mother Oak smiled gently, pulling Hazel into her branches. There is no right time. Not to fall, not to move, not to grow. Waiting kills time, but that's about all it's good for, honey. You'll spend all your days looking for the right time, but it just isn't real. There's only the time you make. Well, I'm not making time then. Your sisters have gone already. I don't want to go. Your brothers are all gone too. I don't want to go. Why not, child? I'm scared, Hazel said, nearly bursting into little acorn tears. I'm afraid I'm going to get blown away by the wind or kicked by a boot or or buried by squirrels. <laughs> you may be, but that's life, Mother Oak said gently. You'll be blown around by wild winds and find yourself adrift. You'll be kicked while you're down and low and at your most helpless. You'll be taken and buried and lost by beasts of all kind. I know I was. Then why should I go? That sounds awful. I'm safe here. You could stay, and you'd be safe, but you'd never grow. Mother Oak drew her little one close. It might be awful sometimes, but not always. And even when it is, you'll learn something. It's when you're adrift that you can find yourself. It's when you're down and low and lost that you really learn your strength. It's out there in the world that you'll make friends and have adventures and see every wonderful thing life has to offer. So yes, you'd be safe here with me, but you'd always stay the same. And acorns aren't meant to stay the same. She gave Hazel a little hug. Acorns are meant to grow. With that, Mother Oak relaxed her hold on Hazel. Still, the little acorn clung to her branch. Will I be safe? she asked. You'll be amazing, 
her mother replied. I promise. Hazel waited for a long moment, and then another, and hugged her mother close. It was true. There was no right time. It wasn't going to get any easier. Afraid or not, the world was waiting. I love you, Mom. Oh, I love you, honey. Hazel smiled and let her mother go. And Hazel fell, tumbling through the open air, feeling more afraid and alive than she'd ever felt before. She landed in the dirt with a little bounce, on her own for the first time. And in the end, she was driven by the winds. She was kicked careless from boot to boot. She was seized by squirrels and buried deep in the dark of the earth. And there, with patience and luck and love, she grew. And, in nature's own time, she bloomed. The End Thanks for listening.